Hi friends, uh, my name is Ratan. In the last video, we done the polymorphism concept, right? What is polymorphism? Here? One functionality is showing the different behaviors. That concept is called polymorphism. How many types of polymorphisms are there? Total two types. Huh? So two types are compile time and run time. What is the best example of compile time polymorphism? Method of overloading concept. What is the best example of uh, run time poly polymorphism? Method of overriding concept. So now we will check uh, what is the overloading concept, right? The last example I done one example regarding overloading also. Okay. Now in this video, we'll focus on method of overloading with the type promotion concept. Yeah. Method of overloading with what? Type promotion. See the type promotion is nothing but type conversion. Yeah. The type conversion will take care by the that implicit type conversion. Yeah. That implicit type conversion will take care by the Java compiler. Java compiler, right? That's all. So the type promotion is always done from left to right, uh, byte to short, hmm, byte to short, short to integer, int to what? Int to long, so int to long, long to we have the float, float to we have the double data. That's all, guys. And you have one more data type, cat data type, right? That's it. Uh. So the type promotion is always done from left to right. Uh. This type promotion is also known as what? Implicit type casting. Or you can say upcasting. This is called what? Type uh, type promotion, right? The type promotion or type conversion. Who will take the type promotion here? Yeah? Mm, type promotion, right? The type promotion. Who will take care about here? Yeah? The compiler will take care about this one. It is also known as which type here? Yeah? Mm, it is also it is also known as which type? Yeah? Upcasting, right? That's all. See, the type promotion is always done from left to right. Left to right means what? Byte 1 byte, uh, short 2 bytes, uh, cat 2 bytes, uh, int 4 bytes, uh, long 8 bytes, uh, float 4 bytes, uh, double 8 bytes. Uh. The type promotion is always done from left to right. We're clear, huh? left to right, right? That's all. So, you know, I'll do this example practically here, just we'll check the practical ones. And uh, I will do this example practically, first example. I will do one more example here. One is the type promotion. The second example is, it is possible to overload the methods in parent and child relationship also. What is the point here? Possible to overload the methods, hmm, possible to overload the methods in the parent and child relationship also. Clear? Huh? So how to pause, how to overload the methods in the parent and child, we will discuss practically. So what is the conclusion here? here? Possible to overload. Hmm. Possible to possible to overload the methods possible to overload the methods in parent and child relationship in parent and tell me parent and child relationship right that's all I'll do this example practically in this video what is the type promotion the type promotion done always from left to right the second one is what possible to overload the methods in the parent and child relationship right yes or no that's all just check the practicals. So just now we done the practicals of video class one, right? Now the second video will do it. For second second video, we'll do the practicals of video class two. Now what the video class two, I said type promotion, right? The type promotion is always done from left to right. What's the type promotion here? Uh, the, we have the byte date, I said byte date, right? Byte to short, short to integer, integer to long, long to float, float to double, right? The type promotion is always done only from left to right. Simply cat to integer, right? That's all. Byte, how many bytes of memory? One byte, short two bytes. Uh, character also two bytes, right? Integer means how many bytes? Four bytes. Long eight bytes. Float four bytes. Double eight bytes, right? That's all. I'll do an example. Just observe carefully. This is a previous example, right? If you want, let me close the previous example. Just how to create the file here. As you know, right? Go to the file menu, click on new. I want Java. If you want full screen, just this is a full screen. That's all. Class, class name is test class. I declare the void m1 method. Void m1 method. Expecting two arguments. One is the integer a. The second one is what? Long l. Then this is a just a confirmation message. The system dot out there went enough. This is my int long method, right? That's all. Can please take one more method here? Void m1 method. Uh, void m1 method. Here you can take the float f argument. Just you can write the confirmation message. The system dot out dot printer and off. This is my float org method, right? That's all. Yeah, float org method. Float how many methods I declare total? Two methods, right? That's all. Before starting this example, uh, in the previous videos I said, right? 
in java the numeric values are in java the numeric values are uh, numeric values are by default which type uh, integer type uh. when in java the numeric values by default which type uh, in java numeric values by default which type are uh, int type uh. then how to represent the longer represent the long value represent which value long value use which constant here l constant right next one is what represent uh, float ka sorry represent uh, byte comma short value byte comma short value we have to perform type casting right that's all see long value means you have the l constant here but to represent the byte and short there is no b constant you have to do the type casting right generally like that this find how to focus in java the numeric values are by default type on integer type represent the long value use l constant represent the byte and short use the type casting process so no and that's all and one more point in java the decimal values are which type here in java the decimal values are hmm the decimal values are by default by default which type here double type i said right that's all decimal values are by default double type here so represent the float value how to represent the float value use uh, represent the float value use which constant here f constant to understand this example here you require these two points in java the numeric values are by default int type to represent the long value use l constant to represent the byte and short value use type casting concept in java the decimal values are by default double type to represent the float value use which constant here f constant right that's all Clear, right? That's all. What the next one here? Here, I'll do an example, right? This is an example. Come to the application here. I would like to call M1 method. So test t equal what? New test of. We have to call the t dot M1, right? T dot M1 of. I'm passing 10 comma 20. Just save this application here. Local disk E. The application is called test dot Java. But just now I said, right? These two are the numeric values. Numeric values are by default which type? Integer type. See, 10 is an integer. 20 is also an integer, right? 20 is also integer but the second argument is which argument here yeah? integer argument a long argument long right just you can uh, to represent the 20 is a long value we have to use l constant right this is exact match here. 10 20 by default integer types sir but 20 which format you want long format to represent the long value use l constant right so no and that's all then simply can run this code in local disk e how to compile here? java c the application name is called test.java code is compiled fine java class name is called test class into long method right that's all see for example if i call the t.m1 here 10 comma 20 or is it can pass 100 comma 200 100 200 by default which type here integer type but second argument is which argument here long right okay then here 200 is integer type right this integer type is automatically promoted to the long value here no issues so integer is automatically promoted to which format here long format right then it is in the long method executed for example if you pass the t dot m1 of tell me t dot m1 of here you can pass the character data but tell me a character a character b tell me in this example any character method is there no right good but uh, The first character is converted to which format? Here, integer format. The second character is converted to which format? Here, long format. The type promotion is done always from left to right. Here, only from left to right. Here. We clear us. So this ten is this a is converted to which format? Here, integer format. This character is converted to which format? Here, long format. Then here which values are stored? Here, a means here in the a, ninety seven will be stored, right? Unicode values. Here. here b means here which value will be stored in the long value 98 will be stored right like that this is called type promotion here. nothing but implicit type casting nothing but up casting who will take care of this process here compiler then t dot m1 of see for example 10 comma 20 but 10 in the form of the byte format i want pass type casting 20 is also byte short format because 10 20 by default which data integer data right then byte and short format Then tell me in this case what is the output? Tell me now. Hmm. Then what is the output now? Then fourth time data is executed, right? That's it. Very clear, huh? That's all, guys. This is a type promotion. The second method I would like to call t dot m one of ten point five. 
but 10.5 is by default which type here decimal value is double type but expecting which data float data to represent the 10.5 is a float data we have to use f constant we have to use what f constant right that's all simply can run this code code is compiled fine code execute fine right float argument executed for example t dot m1 of 10 i am passing 10 is which data here by default integer data by default numerics are what integers right but any any integer data is there here no but this integer it is automatically promoted to what float format right that's all for example t dot m1 of here i would like to pass a character any character argument method is there no this is called polymorphism right expecting multiple values here the float f it can take the float data it can take the integer data it can take the character data right type promotion here that's all okay clear huh? that's all guys now how many times data will be executed here total three times right code is compiled code executed flow dark flow dark flow dark right for example t dot m1 of can you please pass a 10.5 10.5 is by default state here double data double to float any conversion is there wait double to float any conversion is there no right if the conversion is not possible you will get error message here. incompatible types possible loss of conversion right so no error. incompatible types possible loss of conversion from double to float I hope you'll get some clarity, right? What is the type promotion and all? Hmm? That's all, guys. The integral, this is very, very important. In the first video, we done the first example, and overloaded methods can have different written types also. These methods are overloaded methods, right? Just check the previous video ones. Clear, right? That's all. This is the video class number two. What the video class number two here? In Java, the numeric values are by default type, integer type. In Java, the decimal values are by default double time. This is called type promotion, right? But it's clear, right? I hope you'll get some clarity regarding the type promotion concept. In front of the video, don't sit ideally. Just take the pen and paper, note on all the points. And if you have any questions, just you can send the request to my mail ID, ratna5256 at gmail.com. I'll follow the soft copy also, right? Just send the test mail here, I'll follow the soft copy. Hmm, example one and one more example I will do possible to overload the methods in the parent and child relationship also right why possible to overload the methods in the parent and child relationship also class parent y dm1 you can make the integer here this is my parent class method right the system dot out there print enough here you can write this is my parent int org method right that's it you can take the class child class the class child class Child extends which class here? Parent class. Child extends what? Parent class, right? Got it. Here also you can declare same method. Same method name, right? But same number of arguments or different number of arguments. You can take the different number of arguments better. But different number of arguments means integer A and uh, integer B, right? That's all. This is a child int come int arg method, right? That's all. These two methods are overload methods, right? But in the parent and child relationship are not. That's all guys. Public static wide main. Simply can write the string array RGS. Hmm. String array RGS. Open brace, close brace. Then create the object of which class here? Yeah? Child class, right? Child C equal new child of. You can call the C dot M1. C dot M1 of 10. Then which method executed? Yeah? Then obviously parent method, right? Code is compiled fine. Which class can this main method? Yeah? After compilation, two dot class files, right? One is a parent class, one is a child class. Which class contains main method here? Child class, right? Execute the child class. Parent in target, right? That's all. Then C dot M1 of, you can pass the 10 comma 20. 10 comma 20 means then which method executed here? Then child class method, right? Then code is compiled, fine. Hmm, code is compiled, fine. <coughs> Java the class name is called what? Which class contains main method here? Child class. Parent int arg, child int comma int arg method, right? That's it, guys. Clear? So, what are the conclusion here? Possible to overload the methods. Hmm. Possible to overload the methods in parent and uh, in parent and what? Child relation, right? That's it. Are you clear? Huh? That's all about the type promotion and uh, overload the methods in the parent and child relationship. Yeah. That's all, guys. So thank you guys, thanks for watching and like the videos and comment the videos. Subscribe to our channel to get the more updates.
and you have any doubts you can write the comment here otherwise send a request to my mail id i'll forward the soft copies thank you guys bye